going to Europe with strangers. <laughs> On a school trip but see I'm an online school student so I'm basically here with a bunch of strangers cuz I don't go to school so I'm basically alone in Europe for 11 days knowing absolutely no one so far it's been an absolute fever dream I don't know what's going on or where I am or who these people are and it's given me quite a few anxiety attacks this is the hotel room There's a toilet in one room and the bathtub, shower, and sink in another one. I don't know the logic. And here she is. She has a little kitchenette and a door to the outside. Currently in Paris, France. I'll be here for three days and then I'll be in Germany and then Switzerland and then Austria. Woo! Finally in bed. I flew in to Paris this morning and I started yesterday morning. I experienced two 7 a.m.s in one day and I never want to do that ever again. Two 7 a.m.s in the same day, less than 24 hours apart. I have extreme jet lag, extreme, extreme jet lag. It's bad. I was gonna literally, I was, I was, I've never been closer to falling asleep in a public space, a restaurant. I was eating dinner. I was like, I'm going to pass out. Like someone's going to have, like, I'm generally scared of falling asleep right now and having no energy to get back to the bus. Because we all rode a bus, tour bus. Eh. But anyway, I'm here. I've spent the last day getting used to Paris. That's what you've been seeing. It is 8.45 but it's 1.45 back in Houston when all my friends are awake. But I need to get my ass to bed. I need to go to sleep. But it is still very light outside here. I don't know what to do. I'm so, I've never felt, this feels like a fever dream. I don't know what's going on at all. I have extreme separation anxiety and I keep having like derealizations or whatever it's called. I don't know, dis dissociation? I don't know what it's called. There's a word. I don't want to use the, the term incorrectly. But I keep feeling like I'm generally about to wake up from a dream. And it's not like a good dream. It's like a, like, oh, I'm generally like, this is making me uncomfortable. 
and I don't know what to do with myself, I want to wake up. I have so many days left. I have 10 more days. 10. I just can't think about it because it makes me sick to my stomach. And it's like stupid because I should feel really excited because this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. But I miss my people already. Good morning. I'm about to go get breakfast, but this is the fit for today. Converse white socks, carpenter pants, carpenter shorts, white tee, button down. Switzerland now. But I'll show you our new hotel room. We're in point five. Here's the bathroom. I don't understand this. It's a window. It is glassed out, but there's gaps here and there's gaps at the top. So you get no privacy. If I poop or pee, or try to sing in the shower. My roommate's hearing me, like as if I'm in the same room, cause I basically am, cause it doesn't close. This leads us into the main room. Guess which one is my bed? Oh, did you guess record correctly? Today I'm going up on the Swiss Alps and eating Swiss fondue. I finally found Red Bulls. They don't sell Red Bulls anywhere, especially in Paris. I didn't see one Red Bull. Switzerland has Red Bulls, if anyone was wondering. Thank <laughs> you. 